In the Northern Hemisphere, the sections along north-facing walls present some of the greatest difficulties for gardeners. Northern walls get almost no natural light, while those to the east and west get some during the morning and afternoon. So you should select vegetation that either enjoys or can survive in partial shade. If you're looking for attractive plants that can thrive in the dense shade of north-facing walls, here are eight excellent recommendations. Number one, impatiens. Due to a widespread fungal disease known as downy mildew, impatiens were all but eradicated from garden centers for a while. Impatience has been a non-starter as a bedding plant for partially shaded areas until recently, when numerous disease-resistant genotypes became available. Ideally, impatience should be grown in deep shade, although they can survive in partial sun if given enough water. Zones 10 and 11 are ideal for growing impatience. Number two, wax begonia. Wax begonias are a subgenus of the begonia family with fibrous roots, mounds of waxy, fleshy leaves in shades of dark green to bronze, and loose clusters of tiny flowers that bloom continuously throughout the season. There are shorter six to eight inch types and longer 10 to 12 inch ones. The wax begonia may thrive in either full sun or partial shade. Provide plenty of room between plants to promote healthy airflow and reduce the risk of fungus. Annuals, they do best in USDA hardiness zones 10 and 11. Number three, common bleeding heart. If you have any empty space along a north facing wall, common bleeding heart is a great perennial to plant. This medium sized plant reaches a height of two to three feet and blooms in spring with clusters of pink and white flowers on arching stalks. The plant needs more water in areas with more sunlight. Bleeding heart is more sun tolerant in milder areas. It is possible for bleeding hearts to thrive in zones three to nine. Number four, periwinkle. In May and June, periwinkle develops a viney carpet that can be up to six inches tall. It does well as a ground cover next to bleeding heart and other perennials, or underneath shrubs and small specimen trees. With consistent fertilization, the plant's green leaves will take on a more vibrant hue, and its growth will speed up. Check with the experts in your area to see if periwinkle is considered invasive before growing it. In hardiness zones four through eight, periwinkle can be grown well. Number five, Lilliturf. One such plant is Lilliturf, a perennial that can reach a height of nine to 18 inches and has a grassy appearance. Lilliturf is more highly valued for its grass-like foliage. However, it does produce tiny flowers in August and September. Although it does well in full sun, lily turf may survive in partially shaded areas. Cutting it down in the spring will get it growing again. The climate zones four through 10 are suitable for this plant. Number six, hosta. When it comes to plants, hosta is always first on my list. Hosta is more than just a ground cover plant because to the wide range of green leaf colors available among the many cultivars. Certain varieties of hosta, namely those with yellow leaves, seem to be more tolerant of direct sunshine. Hostas are hardy from USDA hardiness zones three to nine and are low maintenance as well. Number seven, buckleweed. Buckleweed is another type of ground cover that can thrive in a variety of environments. This perennial prefers full sun, but still performs well as a dense ground cover when planted in the shade, where it can reach heights of six to nine inches and spread almost as wide. After flowering, the plants can have their tops lopped off to encourage fresh growth. Zones three to 10 are ideal for cultivating buckleweed. Number eight, 
climbing hydrangea. Climbing hydrangea is one woody climbing vine that flowers attractively, is well-behaved, and works well in shaded settings. But your options are more limited if you prefer to grow climbing plants against a north-facing wall. If not trained on a robust trellis or structure, this plant can grow as long as 50 feet and spread out as a ground cover. Climbing hydrangeas do well in hardiness zones 3 through 10. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.